guys and welcome back to my channel. So this week I am doing the last of the Parable Breakdown series for the Parable of the Sower. So if you haven't watched the other ones, I suggest you watch them before you watch The Good Soil because I feel like, you know, you just get the full breakdown and the full story. And now we're at The Good Soil, which is the last one. And before I get into it, like how I started all the other videos, I'm going to read the two passages we're drawing out of, or the two verses we're drawing out of. And so the first one is Luke 8.8, 8, and that reads, Still other seed fell on the good soil. It came up and yielded a crop, a hundred times more than sown. And Luke 8.15 reads, But the seed on the good soil stands for those with a noble and good heart, who hears the word, retains it, and by persevering produces a crop. So being on the good soil means you have a good and noble heart, which means you're selfless, you know, you're kind of always giving yourself to other people, you don't think about yourself before others. So you're also reaching out to other people, showing the overflow of God's love in your life and to others, because you really only start reaching out to people when God's filling you up so much that you just want to share it with everyone. So you definitely see this in this soil, not like any of the other ones. They have a repentant heart. They're always trying to change and be more like Jesus. And they have a dynamic walk with God, not a stagnant walk with God. So they're always changing and evolving and trying to be more like Christ by reading their Bible, praying, you know, always kind of thinking about God instead of getting distracted by the world. It also says they have a perseverant spirit. So even when times get tough, they turn to God instead of the world. And I feel like that's a very important part. Often when, you know, young Christians, I'm still a young Christian, but young Christians come around and they struggle with, you know, being with God and being committed to God. They struggle when times get tough still believing in God. So these people in the good soil, they don't turn to the left or to the right. They straight they directly turn to God when times are tough. Or even if they do turn a little bit to the left or to the right, they always end up finding God in that situation. They hear the word of God and retain it. This is also really important. So they will be listening to, it could be a quiet time or um, a Bible study, church service, woman or men's devo, a Wednesday service, whatever you call it. It can be that, and they actually take it and put it into practice. So if they hear something, you know, like, be more of a servant, then maybe, you know, they'll give away a cookie they really wanted to someone else who probably wanted it more. You know, things like that. I know that's a dumb example, but, like, you know, they put it into practice. They're always trying to have a more dynamic walk with God, and they're always trying to be more like Christ than more like themselves. They're always trying to mold their lives to biblical principles. So if they notice that something's off, it's the same as kind of repentance, but if they notice something's off or something they're not really sure about, they'll straight go to the Bible and they'll try to read about what God says about that topic and they'll try to mold their views around what the Bible says. So they're always kind of changing and their heart's always soft and adaptable, so they're always ready for that change or ready to make that change. They're not afraid of being wrong. They just want to make sure they're right in the end. And also the last thing is that they're a good example of a good disciple. You know, they're the people who you're like, wow, I want to be like them in maybe this area. I mean, no one's perfect at all. Only Jesus was. But, you know, maybe you're like, wow, I want to be a servant like they are. Or, wow, I want to be as patient as she is. Or, wow, I want to be as considerate and thoughtful as he is or something. So they're always that kind of good example. They always have a good, you know, light to shine and they always are constantly changing, constantly adapting and they should be just a good example, you know, people should look at them and be like, yeah, that is a God-fearing man or woman over there, you know, that is what being on the good soil is like. So thank you guys for watching this week's video and as for next week's video, we are starting the back to school series. I just, God put it on my heart to make some videos for back to school topics, so I will be starting that instead of parable breakdowns. So I will be doing the first back to school episode next week, 
and the actually the next Sunday video is going to be very interesting because it'll be like the 22nd when I upload it. Sorry, my calendar's over there. It will be the 22nd when I upload it, but on the 22nd, I will be uploading my one year as a disciple video and what I've learned and just a bunch of weird things. I haven't planned it out yet, so I don't know what it's going to be about. But that is what I'm going to be making because my spirit, my first spiritual birthday is on the 17th and that means it's been a year since I got baptized, which I am super duper grateful for. And I will be making a video on that, on all of that, all my experiences and everything. In that video on the 22nd, it will be a lot longer than all my other videos probably because I have a lot to say, but I'm very excited to make it. I don't know who's going to watch it, but <laughs> thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, the last parable breakdown of the parable of the sower series. I may pick this up maybe around Christmas time when I have a little bit more time to make videos. Um, but thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked it. Like, subscribe, whatever you do. Um, and I will see you on Sunday. Goodbye. Bye.